Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the channel. This is G's Nail Spot and I am G. If you are new here, you are very welcome. Step inside, take a look around and if you like what you see, give it a like and maybe give it a subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I drop every Monday night. So here's the set that I'm going to be working on today and as promised in my last Sheen haul, which was last week's video, I'm going to show you how I did the glow in the dark colour changing Halloween nails that I was wearing when I did that video. So as usual, I've got my lovely short stiletto uh, full cover tips and I'm using this luminous gel like gel polish and that's L06 which is a pink and L04 which is actually a luminous yellow. They're actually HEMA free as well which is really great. And then the Urban Graffiti Serious Black. As you know Urban Graffiti is my go-to on the nail polishes usually. So I'm going to give these nails two coats of each of the polishes. So three of the nails are going to be those lovely luminous ones that do actually glow in the dark. I didn't realise, I just thought they were neon. But when I, when I painted these nails and wore them, um, I yeah, they glow in the dark. I woke up in the middle of the night and uh, wondered what, what there was floating around in front of my eyes. <laughs> it was my glow in the dark nails. So like I said, we're going to do two coats of each colour um, on the nails, as you will see, because these... Um, luminous ones are quite sort of sheer so they definitely need a couple of coats um, I did two because it seemed okay because I'm going to be putting designs on the top but you could do three I guess if you wanted a real um, solid colour there but as you can see there's two coats and I think that's fine uh, the blacks had two coats as well so now we are going to do some stamping because you know I love my stamping so I, I really this set was a bit of a trial because this particular colour changing polish that I'm going to use I had ages ago and I've just not used so I thought oh I need to get it used. So here's the Sheen Halloween plate that I bought. Again you would have seen it in the last Sheen video that was on last week. If you haven't go and check it out. Loads of lovely Halloween goodies and also some Christmas goodies. I don't know why I'm whispering. I just I, th I think I just don't want to say that word out loud yet. I'm, I'm too excited about Halloween anyway. As usual, I've got my Mo U London stamper and scraper, and I will be using the clear jelly stamper black polish. There it is. And I did it the right way this time, 001. <laughs> Again, it's my go-to black at the moment. So I'm gonna do some stamping, and I'm gonna do stamping on all the luminous nails. Um, so I've done this one in real time so you can see how it goes and the rest I think I've sped up a little bit because once you've seen one stamp you've seen them all let's face it <laughs> it's the same process every single time put the polish on scrapey scrapey stampy stampy and there you go hopefully with a bit of luck you get a nice pickup and a nice little stamp and there's the spooky house again quite impressed with these plates these are sheen plates um, and they seem to be working really really well Anyway, I'm going to shut up for a little minute and let you watch the rest of the stamping. So I apologise that I'm going a little bit in and out of shot and I'm quite near the bottom of the screen. I didn't realise this at the time. I think I'm so focused when I'm stamping on getting it right. <laughs> I didn't notice but you can see on this one I'm using a clear jelly stamper uh, plate and it's a really cool plate. It's got some amazing designs. Again I got this um, quite a while ago, I think last year. And I'm just doing some little zombie hands on this. So I've done the grass and then I did the zombie hands and then I used some black polish just to cover the tip. So you can that little triangle at the bottom of the tip. And so that's all the stamping done on the images. So now I just wanted to give them um, a little bit of a frame. You know, if you've seen my other videos, you know, sometimes I do like to give the nails what I call a little outline frame. So I'm just popping some of that serious black on my palette and I'm gonna use a sponge rather than a brush 
because I don't want it to be the, a really harsh line. I want it to be more of a, a spooky line, <laughs> if it's such a thing. So I'm going to dab the black all the way around each nail that's been stamped to give it a sort of, um, just like a, like I say, like a frame, but it's more, it's more subtle than a, than a harsh line, I guess. I wanted it to look more like a, a misty outline than a solid outline, but I still want it to have quite a dark colour, so I do this uh, a couple of times on each nail. Right, so they've all got their black outlines, as you can see. I don't know, it just it just gives them something. I just I just like that look on, on certain nails and they look a little bit better. Anyway, here I'm just going in with a very thin layer of top coat. And it's before I go in with the magic polish. <laughs> I'm not sure if this step is required or mandatory to, to do. Um, I just felt like, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to seal in those designs before I go uh, what essentially is going to look like I'm ruining them. So here is the Urban Graffiti Thermochromic, Thermochromic? I think I'm saying that right. Thermochromic polish, which is black. And like I say, I'm now going to go in with that black polish and totally decimate all of the designs on this nail set. Look, no, no. It's such a weird feeling painting black over some designs that you've just spent ages doing. Which is why I'm kind of going quite slow when I'm doing it. I'm, I'm painting it on like this and thinking, is this right? Is this going to work? I have no idea. No idea. But anyway, I, I've gone in with a, a, not a thick coat. I've gone in with a fairly thin coat. Just enough to cover, as you can see. So you can still sort of see the pattern coming through. And that's because obviously as I'm painting the polish on, it's kind of getting warm under the lamps. So this polish stays solid black when it's cold. And as it warms up, it goes clear. That's why it's magic. <laughs> I'm amazed by it, I really am. I'm honestly so excited. I'm, I feel annoyed that I've never used it before. But as you can see, look, it's been in the lamp. And because it's warmed up, you can now see all the wonderful patterns through it. How amazing is that? I honestly can't get over it and they're so much fun to wear as well because of the temperature change that affects them. It's brilliant. I can always tell when I'm cold. So my, to be fair, they were black a lot of the time when I was wearing them because I'm just blooming cold all the time with the weather now. But um, yeah, so that's those nails. I'm just going to put a little bit of detail on the two plain back nails that we've done. So this is the point finger, so the index finger, and I've got some really cool little jewelly skulls, as you can see there, picking it up. Uh, and I wanted to put that one on this, so I've put a huge amount of that McCart rhinestone uh, glue on there, and then I'm using these Sparkle Supplies um, jewels. I don't know what they're called, I'm afraid, because there was no name sticker on them when I got them, um, but they're like they're a beautiful red jewelly stone that shine blue and purple. So I've got one of my Amazon boxes of just plain sort of clear crystals that I've put in the middle and then I'm using those sparkle supplies one each side because like I said, can you see? They're just stunning. They go from, like I say, red, blue, purple. And they're so beautiful when, they, when they're in the light, as you can probably see. And then I'm doing my usual caviar, silver caviar beads in between because you know that's the look I like. And once they're all in place, they will get a cure in the lamp and that's the two black nails done. Because obviously when this set, like I say, when I'm wearing them and I'm cold, they're just gonna look plain black. So I felt like the two that were just black nails needed a little bit of something so that when they're all black, there was a little bit of blingy bling going off until I warmed up and then you can see the designs come through. But there's my little bit of uh, a crystal cuff on that nail. So here we are. So this is what they kind of look like. As you can see, they're kind of getting warm again because they're sat under the lights. So the, the design's starting to come through again. But all that's left to do now is a layer of top coat just to make them shiny, shiny and seal everything in. And then we get to the exciting bit where I'm gonna show you how they work in hot and cold. Thank you. 
Here we go, you can see I'm now wearing the beautiful nails. And as you can see, some are already warming up and some aren't. <laughs> this is the nature of my hands. Generally, they're cold all the time, but I do warm up occasionally. So I've got, as you can see, two bowls of water here. One is hot and one is cold. So the one on the right, there's your cold water. So as you can see, they are solid, solid black. Black, black, black. Love my, I do love my black nails, to be fair. I love wearing black nails. But here we go, this is where the magic happens, watch. Oh, how amazing is that? <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, I'm a bit like a child with things like this. I get so excited. But yeah, instantly, as soon as they get hot, you put them in hot, look, the patterns come through. I just, I'm just mesmerized by this kind of magic. It's brilliant, but you can see I'm going cold already. <laughs> they soon change back because I've got very cold hands. But look at that. It's fabulous. Like I say, they're so much fun to wear as well. And you go in and out of cold and hot environments. They look brilliant. It's almost like you've got two different sets of nails on. Here we go, back in the cold. Instant black colour. Love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Oh, I'm just, oh, why have I not used this before now? This is just so much fun. Yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know. Drop me a comment uh, in the box below. What do you think about this magic nail polish? Like I say, had it in my um, collection for at least a year and never touched it. And now, I don't know why. But look, 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 both at the same time, both at the same time. Hot on the left, cold on the right. And that's what you get. Uh -huh. It's amazing. It's it's just, let's do a swapsy. Swap the hands, swap the hands. In we go. And there we go, the magic's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the little things, isn't it, in life sometimes? But yeah, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this set. What do you think of the designs? What do you think to this amazing <laughs> magic nail polish that I've shown you guys? And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of my videos in the future. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!